வெல்கம் பேக் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இன்றைக்கி பயாலஜி கிளாஸில் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் நெக்ஸ்ட் லெசன் நியூரல் கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் கோஆர்டினேஷன் நியூரல் கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் கோஆர்டினேஷன் டீல்ஸ் வித் தி நர்வஸ் சிஸ்டம் இன் த பாடி பிஃபோர் வி கோ இன் டு தி ஆக்சுவல் கான்செப்ட் வில் சி வாட் இஸ் தி கண்ட்ரோல் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் தி பாடி தி கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் கோஆர்டினேஷன் ஆஃப் த பாடி பார்ட்ஸ் த கம்ப்ளீட் பாடி பார்ட்ஸ் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி செல் வி மீன் ஹியர் control and coordination of the body is done by two systems in the body so there are two controls in human body one is called as the nervous control the other is called as chemical control nervous control is under the nervous system from the ner- name itself we can understand it is the control of the body with the nervous system chemical control is the hormonal control of the body so how the functions of the body is controlled by the chem- uh, hormones so, so this one we'll study under the uh, endocrine system in the body idu nama next unit la padichikalam so this lesson we'll study about the nervous system and the nervous control how is the body parts and functioning of body parts controlled by the nervous system so nervous system to in brief uh, to say about uh, nervous system this is the most rapid system that is working in the body and this is going to work under electrical signals so the movement of electrical signals throughout the body will help in the control and this electrical signals through which the body is controlled is called as the stimulus or the impulse and the system is going to be made of the nervous tissue and we will see in detail about the cells that are present in the nervous tissue also so to study about the nervous system first we have to know about the central nervous system which in short we usually call it as the cns central nervous system this involves brain and spinal cord which are integrative and the control center so these are the complete control centers of the complete nervous system and this central nervous system is going to uh, work with the help of peripheral nervous system which we call it as the pns so these are organs brain and spinal cord are going to be organs that are going to help in control and integration of the nerve impulses and peripheral nervous system communicates with the body parts so it is going to be a communication line between the central nervous system and rest of the body and it is going to work with nerves the one that is coming from brain are called as the cranial nerves and the nerves that are coming from the spinal cord are called as the spinal nerves and this peripheral nervous system is uh, has is made of two different nerves so one is called as the efferent nerves efferent nerves is going to conduct impulse from the central nervous system to the organs so from central nervous system to organs if the uh, impulse is moving it is called as efferent nerves and sensory nerves are going to be or the afferent nerves are going to be nerves that move impulse or conduct impulse from the receptors that is these are going to be the sense organs so receptors are nothing but the sense organs so they are going to conduct impulse from sense organs to the central nervous system that makes up the sensory division or the afferent nerves and uh, motor nerves that is nothing but the efferent nerves that is going to carry impulse from central nervous system to the organs they are again of two types one is the autonomic nervous system the other one is somatic nervous system when it is autonomic nervous system it is going to be involuntary in action that is impulses from central nervous system to the organs that are going to function involuntarily so involuntary functions are carried by autonomic nervous system whereas voluntary actions 
the impulse for voluntary action is going to be carried by the somatic nervous system so, so uh, for voluntary actions there is only this somatic nervous system and for involuntary action it is autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system le rendu type irukku onnu vandute sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system appadina vandute enna appadina it is it is helping or it is taking carrying information that is involuntary impulse from the uh, central nervous system during some activity that is sympathetic nervous system specialized activities nam idha nam sympathetic nervous system detail la padikumbodhu you will understand what is this during activity abdingaradha so uh, autonomic nervous system that is going to carry information through the uh, autonomic nerves for involuntary actions to the organs during some specialized activity vandu parasympathetic uh, sorry sympathetic uh, nervous system parasympathetic appadina vandu that is going to help in the functioning of the body during rest adavadhu rest appadina normal functioning vandu help pandrathu vandu parasympathetic nervous system and specialized function help pandrathu vandu sympathetic nervous system idu rendume vandu it is going to uh, involve only involuntary actions voluntary actions la vandu sympathetic para sympathetic kedaiyadu only in involuntary there is sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves somatic nerves vandu only for voluntary action so idukku ella impulse ku vandu in the involuntary action ah irundalum voluntary action ah irundalum impulse enga irundu varudhu appadina it is through the motor uh, nerves or the uh, efferent motor division which is coming from the uh, central nervous system so central nervous system vandu that is the integrative centers vandu enna pannuvom na with the help of nerves they are going to give information for voluntary and involuntary action voluntary action ku eduthittu varra nerves vandu somatic nerves somatic nerves are always motor nerves adavadhu they are going to conduct impulse from central nervous system to organs so motor nerves um sensory nerves um they are going to be part of peripheral nervous system which is under the control of central nervous system sensory division vandu they are going to be sensory nerve fibers that is going to conduct impulse from the receptors to central nervous system uh, to the brain so their mode of action is only in this direction whereas here it is it, can, it is acting in this direction so before we start with the uh, central nervous system first we will study about the nervous tissue uh, nervous to what is nervous tissue what are the parts of nervous tissue and how is it uh, uh, functioning and when that we will see uh, this nervous tissue and then we'll go into the central nervous system so first the nervous tissue is made of two types of cells first so two types of cells first one they are called as neurons and the second type of cell or glia cells so first we'll see what is neurons neurons they are called as the structural and functional unit of nervous system because they are they are specialized cells and they are helping in the functions and what are they specialized for these uh, such type of cells are not found in any other parts of the body these are specialized cells that can conduct electrical impulse so the cells that are specialized for conduction of electrical impulse is called as the neurons and the parts of neurons neuron is made of three main parts the first part is called as the cyton or the cell body also called as soma second is the processes processes abdina vandute extensions from cell body we call it as processes and there are two types of processes which one is called as dendrites and the other one is called as axon so the parts of uh, neuron made of three parts i said you one one that is cyton adutha the dendrites adutha the axon in the dendrites so axon one that they are extensions of the cell body ipo dendrites na enna appadina these are 
branched branched processes and they are going to be many in number and they can receive impulse so they can only receive impulse they cannot pass on the impulse so that is the dendrites adathathu vandute axon is going to be unbranched that is it is going to be a simple structure it is not branched and it is going to be only one in number there is always only one axon and the function is it pass impulse to the next neuron so that is the uh, function of axons or axons like this so cyton or the cell body and two processes axon and the dendrites so first the characteristics of cyton or the cell body cyton it is the broad region of the cell the neuron so neuron abingrad vandu or normal cell da it is going to be the broad region adoda shape mattum da different so that it looks totally different from other cells it is a broad region and it is going to contain the nucleus and other organelles nucleus and other organelles of the cell enna na organelles nama cell unit la padichom illaya adha ella organs ume vandute inda cyton part la da irukum one special character is centrioles or absent normally animal cells la centrioles irukum and the centrioles vandute cell division ah decide pannum inge vandute centrioles irukada nerves la vandute sorry neurons la vandute special character centrioles are absent so there is no cell division possible so by birth namalukku evlo neurons irko it is going to be the same number of neurons till your death so because there is no cell division because centrioles are absent there is no cell division and one more special character is nissels granules nissels granules so nama cell unit la padichirukrom these are fragments of the rough endoplasmic reticulum so rough endoplasmic reticulum fragments vandute they will be present uh, within the cyton region which uh, which are called as the nissels granules in the cyton la irundha da vandute inda processes form aagum which are called as the extensions and the processes la vandute rendu type now we'll see about dendrons and axon so the first type of process which are called as the dendrites also called as dendrons so these are going to be short in length and they are highly branched and their main function is to receive impulse from another neuron and they transmit this impulse so the receive panna impulse vandute they'll transmit it to the cell body and nissels granules can be present in seen in these dendrites also in the branches liyum vandute nissels granules vandute will be seen so these are the functions of the main functions of dendrites adutha vandute axon axon or simply called as axon or sometimes called as the axon nerve fiber axon fiber because this is going to be long process that are formed from the cell body so these processes are going to be little longer uh, than uh, the dendrites and they are only one in number and they are unbranched and they are going to transmit impulse to the next neuron to the next neuron idha nama vandittu idu adutha neurona vechi define pannum bodhu ipdi solrom if we define it with the same neuron we can also called as they, they transmit impulse away from the axon 
ஸோ நம்ம இப்படி கூட டிஃபைன் பண்ணலாம் நியூரான் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷனில் இந்த சாரி இம்பல்ஸ் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஃப்ரம் ஆக்ஸான் வந்துட்டு தே கேரி அவே ஃப்ரம் தி ஆக்ஸான் ஸோ வே சாரி சாரி இட் இஸ் அவே ஃப்ரம் த செல் பாடி ஸோ வென் இட் இஸ் கேரியிங் அவே ஃப்ரம் த செல் பாடி வேர் இஸ் இட் டேக்கிங் இட் டூ இப்போ நெக்ஸ்ட்டு நியூரான்க்கு டிரான்ஸ்மிட் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னா எந்த இடத்துல இருந்து டிரான்ஸ்மிட் பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னா ஃப்ரம் த இயர் என்ஸ் ஸோ டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஆஃப் இம்பல்ஸ் transmission of impulse is done at their ends so on the in the process in the axon or the ends la da vandu impulse transmission nadakum these ends they are called as axon end bulbs தே ஆர் கால்ட் அஸ் த ஆக்ஸான் எண்ட் பல்ப்ஸ் எண்ட் பல்ப்ஸ் நீ எதனால் வந்துட்டு நேம் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னா யூஸ்வலி தீஸ் ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் தட் ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி லிட்டில் பல்ப்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் திஸ் ஆக்ஸான் எண்ட் பல்ப்ஸ் வந்துட்டு எங்கே ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் தேல் பி ஃபார்ம் அட் தேர் எண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தீஸ் எண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் ஆஸ் ஆக்ஸான் டெர்மினல்ஸ் ஸோ ஆக்ஸான் டெர்மினல்ஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து எண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஆக்ஸான் ஃபைபர் இந்த ஆக்ஸான் ஃபைபரோட எண்ட் வந்துட்டு ஆக்ஸான் டெர்மினல் ஆக்ஸான் டெர்மினலோட எண்ட் தட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவல் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் எங்கே நடக்கும் அப்படின்னா இந் தி எண்ட் பல்ப்ஸ் நான் உங்களுக்கு டயக்ராம் போடும்போது யூ வில் ஈஸிலி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அண்ட் தி ஆக்ஸான் கேன் பி கவர்ட் வித் ஃபாஸ்ஃபோ லிப்பிட் ஷீத் phospholipid sheath so a sheath made of phospholipid uh, uh, usually covers this axon part this phospholipid it is called as the spingo myelin this covering the of uh, the uh, axon part this is commonly called as the myelin sheath and this myelin sheath this is secreted by myelin sheath is secreted by cells called as schwann cells so schwann cells they will be associated with this axon fiber and those first cells are going to secrete the myelin sheath and this myelin sheath is not uniform in distribution that is ella edathiliyume vandute inda myelin sheath cover panni irukadhu so they are not uniform and the place or the places where myelin sheath is absent in the neuron or a single neuron la endha edathila myelin sheath illam irukko that place is called the nodes of ranvir and it is only through this nodes of ranvir eka impulse is going to be conducted so impulse conduction takes place through the nodes of ranvir this is because this myelin sheath is an insulating material so this cannot conduct the uh, impulse so only through nodes of ranvir where the myelin is absent and the edathila mattum da vandittu in the myelin sheath uh, sorry uh, impulse vandittu conduct aagum so the structure of neuron nama vandute first vandute we saw axon uh, sorry cell body cell body vandute or broad region abin padichom and this broad region has two processes that are coming so the broad region vandute we call it as the cell body or the cyton so cyton la enna nalla irukum nucleus irukum ana nam adha mattum represent pannikalam matha organelles thevai illa inga அப்புறம் ஒன் ஸ்பெஷல் கேரக்டர் தி நிசில்ஸ் கிரானியூல்ஸ் தட் இஸ் தி ஃப்ராக்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ரஃப் எண்டோ பிளாஸ்மிக் ரெட்டிகுலம் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் தி நிசில்ஸ் கிரானியூல்ஸ் அப்புறம் திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் தி நியூக்ளியஸ் ஆஃப் நியூரான் ஸோ நியூரானோட செல் பாடியில் இருக்கிற நியூக்ளியஸ் நியூக்ளியஸ் ஆஃப் தி நியூரான் அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்துட்டு த ப்ராசஸஸ் டூ ப்ராசஸஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் பிரான்ச்சு ப்ராசஸஸ் விச் வி கால் இட் ஆஸ் தி டென்ட்ரைட்ஸ் 
so they are going to be many in number so idu ellame vandu cell oda extensions nama line podradhanaala it doesn't show that uh, these are going to be uh, separate extensions idu cell oda extension so these are the dendrites so these processes we call it as the dendrites or the dendrons they are going to be many in number and they are short processes and one long process one long unbranched process which is called as the axon so nama axon vandu axon oda parts mark pannadukapra axon mark pannikala the complete length is called as axon axon oda end vandu is called as the axon terminal and axon terminal is branched so complete axon is not branched so axon vandu only one in number only axon terminal is going to be branched and this branched structure is going to form some so edukaga vandu in the axon in uh, terminals mattu branched ah irukku appadina they have to come into contact with many dendrites of the next neuron so ore oru axon irundha vandu it is not enough to uh, contact with the next neuron so this portion you call it as the axon terminal so it is going to be branched and this end portions of the axon terminal this one which is going to be in contact come into contact with the next neuron is called as the axon end bulb and so this complete length so from here to this region so this complete length you call it as the axon so from right start, right from the cell body in the extension form agradilende axon end bulb varaikku vandute it is called as the axon and the point at which the axon is going to arise from the cell body is called as the axon hillock so axon hillock it is the point from which it is arising adutathu vandute we have to study about myelin sheath axon la vandute myelin sheath irukku nu sonno but myelin sheath vandute will be present so ipo na inge varayiradhu vandute it is not the myelin sheath it is the schwann cells that are going to be present on the axon so these are the schwann cells so this one is a schwann cell na inge inda dot maadhiri potrukkaradhu vandute it is so i'll mark it for the cell so this is the schwann cell nucleus so this is a schwann cell nucleus this is a schwann cell in the cell da vandu myelin na secrete panna pogudhu so myelin enga deposit aguna inda edathila deposit agum so myelin sheath will be present where schwann cell is present on the neuron so these places will have myelin sheath so na inge dark out panni irukra edam mattum da vandute it is the myelin sheath inda edam so inge vandute ipo myelin sheath kedaiyadhu ena inge schwann cell kedaiyadhu adanal myelin sheath kedaiyadhu so this region is called as the node of ranvir so this regions we call it as node of ranvir so in the axon kuda vandute eppadi inda schwann cell attach a irukku nu puriyano appadina we'll take a cross section of this part so nama inda edathila vandute nama we are cutting it and we are seeing it from the inside so idu vandute axon oda part that is moving here idu suthiyum vandute the schwann cell will be present schwann cell vandute idu full ah vandute ipdi cover panni inda maadhiri vandute attach a irukku so this portion is the schwann cell so it is going to have the nucleus we have seen here it is going to have the nucleus id axon oda part so we are taking a cross section at this part and we are seeing it like this so in the edathila adavadhu schwann cell axon kuda endha edathila contact varudho and the edathila mattum vandu it is going to secrete the myelin sheath so this is the myelin sheath that is secreted by the schwann cell 
so actually uh, myelin sheath vandittu it is going to uh, lock the uh, axon part so in the edathula mattum insulating material irukum when uh, conduction is going to happen nerve impulse vandittu membrane la travel aagum in the membrane la inge irundhu inge vandittu appra thirumbuvu inge irundhu inge inge irundhu inge poittu adukapra da next neuron ku poga podu so in the edathula vandittu conduction is not possible because myelin sheath is there myelin sheath is an insulating material so these are these this is a structure of neuron and uh, and the parts of neuron and uh, how it is uh, present and the next is types of neurons types of neurons vandittu first one this is uh, this type of inge uh, inge na classification na ipo solla pora classification vandittu it is based on presence or absence of myelin sheath so whether if they have myelin sheath or not so based on the myelin sheath characteristic first classification vandittu that they are called as myelinated neurons means they have myelin sheath that is the schwann cells and one more is non myelinated neurons so myelinated neurons will have myelin sheath and non myelinated neurons will not have the myelin sheath the next is the next classification is based on their function what function they are going to perform based on that they are called as sensory neurons or receptor neurons these are going to take impulse from sense organs to central nervous system such neurons you call it as sensory neurons or they are part of sensory nerves we can call them like that also the nerve neurons that are part of sensory nerves will be called as sensory neurons and the other one is called as motor neurons or effector neurons so effector neurons are going to carry impulse from central nervous system to the organs of the body or they are part of a motor nerves appo vandittu we call it as the motor neurons or effector neurons adutathu vandittu based on number of processes and their position number of processes and based on their position neurons can be classified as unipolar neurons unipolar neurons appadina vandittu dendrons and axon is going to be one in number and there they are going to arise from same position this one you call it as a unipolar neuron so in the neuron la vandittu ore oru dendrite irukum ore oru axon irukum and rendu me axon ah andalum dendrite ah andalum rendu vandittu they are going to arise from same position so for example if this is the neuron uh, cell body so it is going to have the nucleus dendrite also arises from so short branches arising from the uh, one position same position there will be the axon formed so this is going to be the axon which is going to be a longer structure uh, which is so rendu me vandittu only one number dendrite one axon one coming from same position you call it as unipolar neurons the second one is bipolar neurons bipolar neurons are going to be having only one dendrite and one axon so their number is going to be one but dendrite and axon they are going to arise from different positions that is why it is called as bipolar end side irukkaradanaala vandittu you call it as bipolar neurons and the third type is multipolar neurons multipolar neurons la vandittu dendrites are going to be many in number axon is going to be only one in number 
and they all arise from all the dendrites different many dendrites and one axon they are going to arise from different positions nam or diagram potom only and the diagram madri vandu the neuron will look like such neurons are called as multipolar neurons so the so far we have seen about the neurons the next type of cells in nervous tissue is the glia cells glia cells also called as the neuroglia cells because they are associated with the nervous system they are called as neuroglia cells and these are the helper cells or accessory cells of the nervous system and so special character is they are capable of cell division these are normal cells so in the centrioles irukum so they are capable of cell division glia cells and uh, these uh, glia cells there are many different types of glia cells some of their uh, names is the first one it is called as astroglia and uh, the astroglia oda function enna appadina they are going to hold two neurons away from each other so that uh, the uh, the cells the other two neurons oda impulse vandittu confusion confusion illama vandittu they have to pass on the uh, uh, impulse and the reason kaha vandittu two neurons vandittu they are going to hold it away from each other the next one is oligodendroglia oligo dendroglia cells ஆலிகோடென்ட்ரோக்ளிய செல்ஸில் வந்துட்டு ஒரு ஒரு டைப் ஆஃப் ஆலிகோடென்ட்ரோக்ளிய செல்ஸ் ஆர் ஸ்வான் செல்ஸ் அண்ட் வி நோ த ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆஃப் தீஸ் ஸ்வான் செல்ஸ் ஆர் அசோசியேட்டட் வித் தி ஆக்ஸான்ஸ் அண்ட் தே ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஹெல்ப் இன் செக்ரீஷன் ஆஃப் மைலன் ஷீத் தேர் இஸ் ஒன் மோர் டைப் ஆஃப் செல்ஸ் கால்டு அஸ் மைக்ரோக்ளியா செல்ஸ் மைக்ரோக்ளியா செல்ஸ் வந்துட்டு தே ஆர் ஃபேகோசைட்டிக் இன் நேச்சர் ஸோ தே ஹெல்ப் a defense mechanism so these are phagocytic cells so these are some of the examples of glia cells idu mattuna glia cells kedaiyadu these are some examples of the glia cells one main function is they are capable of cell division and uh, these are going to help the uh, neurons in their normal functioning so now we'll start with the uh, central nervous system uh, central nervous system to uh, get into central nervous system the structure of brain and spinal cord power ko munadi vandittu we'll see the protection given to the central nervous system protect uh, protection vandittu it is uh, mainly with the help of bones so bony protection the first one is bony protection போன்ஸில் வந்துட்டு பிரெயினை வந்துட்டு ப்ரொட்டெக்ட் பண்ண போகிற போன் வந்துட்டு கிரேனியல் போன் ஆல் தி எயிட் கிரேனியல் போன்ஸ் ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஹெல்ப் இன் ப்ரொட்டெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி பிரெயின் அண்ட் ஸ்பைனல் கார்டில் வந்துட்டு ஃபார் ஸ்பைனல் கார்ட் த போனி ப்ரொட்டெக்ஷன் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி த வர்டிப்ரல் காலம் ஸோ த கம்ப்ளீட் வர்டிப்ரல் காலம் இஸ் கோயிங் டு கிவ் a uh, protection idu bony protection adutathu vandute there is a protection made of connective tissues so there are some layers of connective tissues that are going to give a protection so this one is connective tissue protection and this connective tissue protection is called as meninges so we'll see what is this uh, meninges and uh, there are different layers of meninges also adu eppadi vandu bones liyum uh, sorry uh, brain liyum spinal cord liyum cover panni irukku nu paakalam so in case of so we'll uh, we'll together see for uh, brain and spinal cord how is this giving a protection meninges meninges vandu in case of brain and spinal cord they are going to be made of three layers so the, here also it is made of three layers in and a layers abdina the outermost is going to be dura mater the middle layer is called as arachnoid mater and the innermost layer is called as pia mater 
so this is going to be the same uh, in uh, the spinal cord also that is three layers dura mater arachnoid mater and the pia mater so first we will start with the uh, dura mater dura mater vandute eppadi irukum appdinu paakalam dura mater in case of brain is going to be immediately below the cranium and there is no space between the dura mater and the cranium that is they are attached to two cranium whereas the dura mater of spinal cord is not attached to the vertebral column bone so it is not attached to the bony part so uh, it is there is going to be some space between the dura mater and the uh, vertebral column bone the space between vertebral column bone and dura mater so it since it is not attached there is a space formed between the uh, dura mater and the vertebral column bone that space is called as epidural space and and this epidural uh, space it is filled with so epidural space ingiradhu open space kedaiyadu it is filled with adipose tissue that is fat tissue and it will be filled so it is filled with adipose tissue and the next layer is going to be arachnoid matter arachnoid matter kum uh, the between dura mater and arachnoid mater there is a space so there is space between dura mater and arachnoid mater this space is called as sub dural space and this sub dural space has some finger like projections those finger like projections are called as arachnoid villi and this arachnoid villi one that is going to project into this dura mater and uh, the function of arachnoid villi enna abdina they are going to help in exchange of substances because these are tissues they need a uh, 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 so uh, nutrients gases idella irukanum so for exchange of those substances these arachnoid villi is going to help whereas the arachnoid villi or uh, sorry arachnoid matter of a uh, spinal cord vandute it is going to be a simple layer and uh, so arachnoid matter they do not have these arachnoid villi and all those and they have the subdural space also so there is subdural space as seen in arachnoid matter of the brain also and the last layer that is the pia matter pia matter of brain and the spinal cord in both these cases it is going to be made of a single layer of simple squamous epithelial cells so it is made of simple squamous epithelial cells and this is going to be continuous with the outermost covering of the brain so they are going to be in continuous with the brain so there is no space between so when it is continuous with the brain means there is no space between pia mater and the uh, brain whereas there is a space between arachnoid matter and pia mater this space is called as because it is below arachnoid uh, matter it is called as sub arachnoid space and this sub arachnoid space is filled with the cerebro spinal fluid in general we call it as csf this is secreted by the brain itself we'll see where is it uh, secreted and all those when we study about the structure of brain and this csf function of this csf it acts as a shock absorber and it is going to help in circulation of food and gases 
and it helps in removal of waste from the brain so that is the function of this cerebrospinal fluid that is present in the subarachnoid space in case of uh, spinal cord also pia mater is going to have the same characteristics as in brain that is so pia mater is going to have same character that is they are made of simple squamous epithelial cells and they are going to be in continuous with the spinal cord and presence of subarachnoid space that is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid and function of this meninges what is the function is it is going to be the protection for the central nervous system so coming to to start with the uh, central nervous system central nervous system is made of two parts one is brain and the other one is the spinal cord so first one brain a brain is also called as encephalon so the technical term of brain is a en is called as encephalon and this is a whitish organ that is found within the cranium so it is protected within the uh, bony part which is called as cranium cranium commonly called as the brain box because it has brain inside it it is called as the brain box and the weight of the brain is normally going to be 1200 to 1400 grams for a normal healthy adult and brain is completely made of neurons and it it is approximately made of around 100 billion neurons so together make up the new uh, brain and parts of brain the first part of brain there are the brain is made of three parts the first part is called as the fore brain also called as prosencephalon the next is the mid brain also called as mesencephalon mesencephalon it is pronounced as mesencephalon to make it more clear nadula idu the hyphen podra hyphen varad ninga pronunciation illa eludumbodhu vandittu apdi pronounce panna kudadu it is not called as prosencephalon it is called as prosencephalon and mesencephalon na ungalku easy a puriyaradhukaga because brain is called as encephalon pros usually refers to four that is the first part and mes usually refers to meso refers to the middle part and the third one is the hind brain hind brain also called as romb encephalon so these are parts of the uh, brain romb encephalon upon uh, prosencephalon mesencephalon and romb encephalon uh, so next video la we'll see in detail about what are the uh, things that are present in fore brain mid brain hind brain and their functions and about spinal cord also thank you students doubts irundha nama group la clear pannikalam